Hello folks, today we're going to make is a chicken stack with champ, pepper sauce and homemade tobacco onions. So we've got our chicken, it's nice to be chicken tender since we we fillets inside the breast of the chicken. We've got a KFC mix, this is left over from our Kentucky Fried Cauliflower. It's just plain flour and loads of herbs and spices and garlic. The recipe's on the, the bottom of that video. Then we've got our flour for our tobacco onions, scallions, eggs and butter and so on. So first of all we're going to Let's cover our eggs. We've got a couple of eggs just in the bowl. So we're going to go wet hand, dry hand. So the wet hand into the flour. Just do it four at a time. And the dry hand. Put them in the Egg wash. Then your wet hand. Let's give it a mix. And back into the flour again. And then give it a mix up. And we'll just do that then for the rest of our fillets and get all our fillets coated. So that's all our chicken coated. And we're going to put it to the fryer and then into the oven. Get the hand to be washed. So lift our lid and then just drop a wee fat in a few at a time. As I said before, the more you put in, the reduces the temperature of the fryer. You don't want them all, they all stuck together. There's about four or five there. Any tiny one. Five there. That's the last batch of our chicken ready. Just put it in the oven for 10 15 minutes at 180 degrees. Look at colors. Well, that'll be cooking to class. So, where we got our fryer ready, right? we're going to make our tobacco onions. This is simple. We're just going to fry off nice, thinly cut uh, onions. Just put them in the milk, just break them up in the milk. Put them all in, make sure they're all broke up. And then just give them a wee mix. This is far cheaper than buying the ones in the shop. It's far quicker too, far nicer. I don't know why you spend money on the wee packet of onions when you can do loads of them. Half the price. And then in there are flour. And give it a good mix. Our flour. And then same again then. Our oil is at 180 degrees. So we just do it straight into the, the basket. There you go. And once you got them all in there, we just and we mix so they're not all stuck together. Okay, that's our wee tobacco one is finished. Just give them a shake, shake off any excess oil. And put them in a wee pan. Uh -huh. We're going to have onions. Let's give them a wee season the salt. 
and I set them aside. We'll put them in the oven for a few minutes just before we're going to serve them. Just give them a wee warm up. So our mashed potatoes are ready. I'm just going to put them through that sieve just to take any lumps out. If you've got a wee ricer, it'd be even better. A grippy job. So you want all the lumps. You might as well just go to all the way to make a perfect potato. No lumps whatsoever. So that's it all to the set. And go with the scrape at the bottom. Scrape it all off. And put our potatoes back on the heat again. We've got our cream on the heat. That's that's double cream or you can use whipping cream. There you go. Some butter. And tear it out. And we're going to add our scallions. And then put our scallions in for the cream. And give it a wee stir. So let's melt them. We're going to season our potatoes. A good bit of salt. Some white pepper. Get you mix in. We spots are a great wee job for this. So it is. And turn down our heat while we're waiting. And our butter to melt. That's a great job. Let's turn that off. I'm just going to add some of the time. Turn up the heat a wee bit. And then just fold that into our potatoes. Give it a good mix. Don't worry about it if it's too wet. And start coming together again. You want it to be nice and soft. So we're going to add another drop. Just add the rest of it. It's going to be lovely and rich. And give it a good mix. As I say, put it on a heat, a low heat. And this will be the best champ you'll ever taste it. Nice and rich, creamy. Buttery. You need loads of butter and loads of cream. You see it all coming together. Nice and smooth. So that's that ready. We'll just set that aside and we're going to make our pepper sauce. Okay, so our champs are set and all ready to go. Now we're going to make our wee pepper sauce. So we've got our pan on the heat. I'm going to add a splash of olive oil. Clean up butter. Some of our diced onion or fish lots up to yourself. So, see ya. We're just going to cook these for a couple of minutes. Hold a second here. You don't want to brine them, you just want them to start cooking. We're going to add our crushed black peppercorns. Now you can plan by these in brandy if you like, or uh, even add red wine. I just like to keep it nice and simple. Not, a lot, not everybody has brandy linen in their cupboard, so I'll just go with it the way it is. We'll sort of those off for a couple of seconds. Now we're going to have a beef stock. Down. With our beef stock in now we're going to let it come to the boil and then we're going to let it reduce by half to three quarters and then we're going to finish it off with a drop of cream. So that's our beef stock reduced by, by half, it's about three or four minutes. We're going to add a splash of cream, a double or single. 
Get out of this stair end. And just bring it back up to the boil again. And just heat up the mash again. Just bring it back up to temperature. And your champ. It's amazing. Put your tobacco onions in then for a wee flash, just to warm that up. And then we're going to plate it up. So it's pepper sauce for daddy. Just turn that off. Take it out. Chicken felt. Heat up. What's our chunk? So you want to get a nice, nice sweet quenelle. Chunk. And just think about the chicken thoughts. Double our pepper sauce. And then top it off with our tobacco onions. And there you have it folks. That's our chicken stack with champ and tobacco onions. Thanks very much tonight. Bye bye.